let's talk about the batting for a moment because the talk of the town has to be the man who's come back into that Rajasthan team, Josh Butler. We were waiting for it and maybe we shouldn't build up too much from their point of view. But uh, Joy, big asset. Huge, huge asset. And the kind of the way he's performed against uh, the England, the Australia players, the great thing about them, them and the CPL players, they are busy, they have been playing, they are in form. And uh, he was missed in the previous match. Here, the responsibility is even more because literally what they've said is, you know, look, Steve Smith has told him, it's you, me, Sanju Samson and Robin Otapa. This is literally it. You know, Riyan Parag is our fifth, you know, batting at five. Riyan Parag, their teams would think seven is high for him. Batting Riyan Parag at five means you're putting a huge amount of trust in your top four. I'm not saying it's a bad thing because I feel that personally that that Rajasthan team can only do well if those top three, top four perform and they believe that, you know, giving themselves extra depth doesn't make any point. Rather, give themselves more bowling options and let the batsmen, let the senior international batsmen take responsibility. So that's the way he's going about it. It's not a bad approach because see, remember Rajasthan, even with it, with Ben Stokes not being there, their balance being what it is, they are a team who will have to money ball a bit. They are a team who will have to take these radical decisions. But uh, I mean, it's really interesting in a time when, you know, KKR played Nikhil Nayak at 8, Riyan Parag batting at 5 is like, yeah. It's brave and I, I like yeah. it. it. It sets up the game very well. You know, Joy, Robin is a friend of all of ours and a proper KKR guy, so we'll be nice to him. <laughs> but I think it's really, in all fairness, at this stage in Robin's career and given the runs behind him in the last 12 months, I think it's safe to say they're relying on the top three rather than the top four. I mean, Robin, as we all know, is a fantastic player. He's still a fantastic player. We'll, we'll, we'll get another clue today. And if he is, that's fantastic because uh, this. I love the purity, the cleanliness of his shot making. It just looks so so clean. But I, I think there's a huge load on that top three. And if the side batting first makes 200, then hmm, it might be under stress. Yeah, well, he's made that call. He's made that call to chase. But when you talk about Josh Butler, and before we see his numbers, Harsha, uh, you'd have to feel for Killer Miller. I mean, we talked about it yesterday. This is the only way he can get back into the team. One doesn't even face a ball and he's back out. I mean, the option would have been if they backed their bowlers, that Miller stays and that Ankit Rajput comes in for Yashasvi, uh, comes in for Yashasvi and Miller, no, for Butler, I guess they were. Karan goes out. Uh, everything else, same. Instead of Karan, Miller stays in the side, but they clearly want that uh, that extra death that option with, with Archer. Yeah, it's terrible. I mean, can you imagine if he doesn't get another game? He, he goes back home and the family says, How was the IPL? Uh, well, I, I, I did play, but I didn't face a ball and I got run out. Nah, he, he'll get another game, hopefully. But he could at least say that he act, he, he get, got as up close and personal to the turf more than anyone else did. <laughs> to have to do a pitch report, go and ask David Miller because he smelt it, he's felt it, he's dug it up. Serious. I'll tell you, we are so mean. <laughs> I'm making fun of people, but that's true. You, I mean, yeah, he did. But we were with Dooley last evening and we concluded that, look, it, it's fair play. They'll have to go to him and say, look, Butler was the first choice had he been available from day one. But that's so, fair. It's, yeah. Yeah, I mean, when, when David Miller was on the flight coming here, he would have known he's not in the first choice 11, that those are the four. He might have thought, look, with Ben Stokes, are they going to replace Stokes with a batsman or Stokes with a bowling all-rounder? And that was his chance of getting into the side. They've obviously gone with Karan as, as the uh, bowling all-rounder. Remember, Karan can hit the ball too. So, if there's only four or four, three or four overs left when he comes in, he's not he's not a bad batsman. So, yeah, I mean, M Miller's got to wait his time. Let's let's revisit these numbers between 2018 and 2019. And, and you can see that there's some serious numbers in there. 2018 in particular, that average, that strike rate, it just shows that up the order what he's going to add to an already potent Rajasthan lineup. Yeah. My only problem is I think we are putting a lot of pressure on this man. I mean, Josh Butler has just got off a plane. He's not played a match. He's been in quarantine with his family. And now you're saying, guys, we're playing four batsmen, maybe five, and you, you need to get it done. And it's a small ground. They may be chasing 180. They may be chasing 200. So, yeah, I, it's a lot of pressure to take first up on no matter how good your batsman is. Oh dear, are you There's only one thing not to have him in my team? Yeah. No, no, you should, you should. You okay, should have man. him in your team. But there's, have, if, you, if you get one sentence with him before he goes out to bat, tell him we are not worried about what you do at the batting end. Please be careful with the non-strikers. <laughs> I, I knew that was coming at some point. After. 